All right, we got a road trip casualty. Look how bad that is. It just exploded. I don't know if we hit something. I don't know. I do not know what happened, but it's rough. So we got to change a tire. Ooh, that's bad. We hit something good. It's 5.30 and everything, nobody's answering our calls. No matter what truck stop, what repair shop we call, they didn't answer. So we are at a truck stop that has a diesel repair place. And I went in there and they were like, oh yeah, everything here shuts down at four o'clock. You have no luck. So you'll have to do it tomorrow. So situation handled, well, mostly handled. We'll have to wake up tomorrow and handle the rest of it. I'm trying to look for the positives in this situation. And I'll tell you another big positive. It's a giant water tower over there. And first thing in the morning when the sun rises, I'm gonna fly my drone over it. Hello, I'm sitting just down the road from you at the Best Western with a shredded tire on my van. And uh, I guess I'm gonna need to get it towed there or something, but I figured I should probably call first, make sure you had what I need. Uh, I'm looking at 44380. Door. Okay, LT215 85R16. Uh, so how much would it be to get two of them put on? Oh, it's gonna be 31051 out the door to get two of them. Big heavy ass van. Oh, baby. I'm, you know, I'm a bit bummed all that happened and we're not exactly on the schedule we were planning, but it is nice now to have just a fresh pair of tires. All right, we were back in the hotel room. Van runs smooth. We got to pack this bad boy up, get out of here, get back on the road find a thrift store, find some food. I think food's about to be most important. I'm hungry, but I did see a Sonic on the other side of town. Sonic? There's a Sonic. All right, next order of business. Gotta store my Jack away so that my dirty Jack, it wasn't dirty, it was brand new, but now it's super dirty because I used it yesterday, and got some oil all over stuff, and now it goes in my dirty little lockbox back here. And then I also bought some oil just to top her off because we're going long distance she uses a little bit so all that stuff will stay locked up in here very happy with this box on the back of my van it's been on here for a while i really haven't used it properly well we haven't really been on road trips ton since buying the van We've done one long road trip. So if you're enjoying this road trip, trip footage, definitely go back and watch some of our older road trip stuff. You can just go to our YouTube page and basically just scroll back. Uh, you, you'll be able to see this van's come a long way. Didn't quite look like this. All right. Tinto shades on, very nice. All right, got any more trash? Some ice for the road. Rip. We're on the road for about an hour, but we've stopped because there's a Savers in this little town. Are we still in New Mexico? Yes. All right, we're in New Mexico. This is a Savers in, I think, Las Cruces. Yes. yes. We've never been here. Brand new Savers, pretty excited about it. This Savers is very similar to the ones in Phoenix. Honestly, it could be sitting in Phoenix right now. Uh, it's very similar, but this is the only DVDs I can find. I don't see any video games. I've already walked all these aisles. Uh, there may not be any video games, or they're somewhere else, but I haven't found them yet. I'm gonna say I feel much better being at a thrift store surrounded by glassware. Makes me feel at home. Some cute stuff here. Some little rainbow glasses. They're individually priced though, so we're probably not gonna get those. This isn't bad though, $2.49 for uh, the four of these. I don't think I've sold the ones in my booth yet though, so I'm probably not gonna get them. We'll wait until they uh, actually sell to find another one. Oh my gosh, a Unikitty! Found them. They were sandwiched in the middle aisle. Oh, they're taped shut. Is that all of them or just that one? Yep, they taped them all shut. Never seen that at a Sabres before. Yeah. There's really nothing here I don't have anyways. Oh, glad we found them. There's two, like, 
autumn Starbucks mugs here and I like them. But honestly, they're a little bit too like cheap and generic for me to be able to justify getting them and dragging them all over the United States. So we're gonna go ahead and leave those behind. If we were at home, maybe I would have grab grabbed them to put them in my booth, but for right now, it's not worth it. It's a cute little mini mouth mug too. Those are kind of cute. Ooh, very nice. Holy Nerf pile, Batman, look at that. Does it have a cartridge? It does not. Uh, I don't think there's anything there I need, but it's a nice pile, $7.99 is not bad for that bag either. The real question is, is there mini pigs? Not any obvious mini pigs. Also, look at this 3D print. Somebody spent a lot of time and a lot of filament on that. It's pretty cool. Made their own gnomes with a 3D printer. Very nice. It's a ton of crochet blankets here. They're nice, they're really pretty. Oh my gosh, it's Bugs Bunny. That's kind of sweet. It's pretty thick. It's pretty sweet. Hmm. Tempting. Might get it. Probably won't, but might. There are so many interesting plush here, but they're all expensive. $3.99, $3.99, $5.3, 6 $6. Those two are pretty tempting, but it's all just a little bit expensive. If it were half off day right here, if it were half off day today, there's probably a lot I would buy. Like I sell these a lot in our antique mall. They're awesome, but I'm not paying six bucks for them. And there's just a lot of little stuff here that like, I'm kind of like, ah. Oh. I want to get it but i'd say just about everything here i've seen is definitely more expensive than it would have been back in phoenix so i don't know if i'm gonna buy a lot hopefully hannah finds something i'm gonna to try to find something maybe board games peanuts art set i like that maybe not all is lost there is a lock box up front that i didn't spot till just now so maybe we'll find something there well, there's a bunch of skylanders and infinity there's a, there's a 3DS up there. Okay, we're getting closer to good stuff. Let's see about this 2DS, 3DS. Can I check something out here when you get a second? No hurry. I'll plug everything in, and if it turns on and it looks like it's working, then he goes in and puts it off. If not, we have a recycling program where it just gets recycled. Okay. All right. I will take that, please. Okay, so you want this one? Yes, and please. you wanted to look at this one? Have we ever used our point system for savers out of state? Yes. So it probably works here. I think so. Because this savers looks just like one in Phoenix. I think we used it in El Paso last time. Okay. I'm betting it works here. I might be able to get this 3DS 20% off or something. That'd be good. Do you guys have the point system? Yeah. Okay. We didn't know if it worked the same way here or not. Let's go. 3DS for $25. Thank you. Yes, sir. After a coupon, it was 25 bucks. Now look, it does have a little bedazzlement on the front, but that's just <laughs> added character. Uh, I can get that off pretty safely. Now this is actually the exact 3DS. We're over here. This is actually the exact 3DS that I already have. So we will probably just flip it. But let me tell you why this is awesome. Uh, we didn't bring any gaming stuff with us on this trip. We were going to, we talked about it, but then we were like, we've got so much to do on this trip. It's kind of not worth it just to throw our uh, our Switch and its carrying case and let it bounce around. So we were just like, ah, we won't bring anything. And then we kind of regretted it because now we've been on the road and we're like, man, it'd be nice to play something. But it has a copy of Animal Crossing in it. And it looked like it might actually have some digital games on it. I've honestly never, downloaded digital games on 3ds so i'm not sure if i knew that was a thing but i'm pretty sure it is i think it has mario kart on it which will be dope so uh this was good this was a great find and i'm extra excited about it because we've got so much more to drive today because of yesterday's tire accident that um this might be the only thrifting we get in and if it is that's good because savers you know what i'm saying savers 3ds just one more time check out our new pretty tire beautiful and brand new <laughs> hey let's go mario kart 7. let me tell you why this is extra awesome we became very well acquainted with mario kart 8 during the pandemic i personally i'm not like trying to brag that i'm good at it plenty of you guys could beat me in mario kart but like i've personally never put so much time into a game 
in such a short amount of time as I did Mario Kart 8. And I kind of like overdid it, so I was kind of bored and burnt out of it. And then I watched Scott the Waz's review on Mario Kart 7, and I realized how much 8 built off of 7, and that I'd never played 7. So this is actually the first time I'll get to play Mario Kart 7, and I'm very excited about it because I feel like it's got some tracks and some mechanics I'm going to have a lot of fun with. So. Hannah, you're gonna have to drive a little bit just so I can play this. How do you feel about that? Uh, no, because I'm gonna be playing. <laughs> it's Savers, and it's your last chance to not let us down. Hannah, well, this looks like a Savers. The last Goodwill didn't look like a Goodwill. <laughs> All right, well, there are video games. Here we go. I've got that one. Got that one. We gotta find something we don't have. <laughs> 4 dollars We gotta figure out which stickers are discounted because I'll buy some of these sports games if they're dirt cheap. So I'm already feeling a little bit more optimistic coming into the Savers because it looks like home. Just nice and big, lots of stuff. And I came across this Marlboro Country Store jacket. We've actually sold like four of these, but the problem is, is I've sold them for like $25. So I can't justify getting this for 15 and then selling it for 25. It's just not gonna work. I'm bummed out. I really wanted it to be like five bucks. I'd be like, in, sold. All right, Game Informer, where yet? Oh, ooh, nice. We got one. Why does this exist? Can I burn it? <laughs> Could you imagine walking around the house with uh, that furry face on your feet? You know? It's a look. It's a look. Alright, I think we're finally where we need to be. Because check this. $5 GameCube controller. Perfect condition. We'll take right behind it. Oh, 10 bucks though. Probably not. Uh, what is this? What else we got? Xbox with remote, 25. PlayStation, 25. Duke, seven. Got Literally got a van full of those. I don't think I need another one for seven. Running into, I'm running into a little bit of a problem here. I find good things that I'm really excited about, but they're expensive. I can't pay $12 for that. It's not half off Monday either. So this Sabres is just turning out to be one of those that you've got to dig a little deeper for, because look at this, there's some PlayStation 1 stuff here. Uh, this is awesome. PlayStation Underground disc for two bucks. Put that on the pile. I need to scan to make sure I don't have this. I'm actually thinking I don't. So that's awesome. And then the Xbox demo disc that I don't have just gets better. War of the Worlds. Thrillville I do have. Look at all this mess. There's no telling how many demo discs might be in there. We're gonna have to sit down and dig through this. There's no telling what's in here. I don't know what, most of it's old like PC stuff. But I'm just, mortified at there being demo discs in here. I wonder if anyone's ever dug through it or if everyone just kind of sees it and goes, yeah, no. And just so much nonsense. Spanish teaching discs. How did all this end up here? Is this all from one person probably? One dude, one dude just croaked and never throw anything away. Kind of surprised there's not a hundred AOL discs here. That's what I like to see. Huge selection. There is a pretty good collection here. Um, not as big as at home, but this is a pretty decent size of men's jeans. And right out the gate, I see something I like, but... Rip. I'm gonna have to start a Hannah find something good, but it's too expensive counter. Ooh, new with tag Wranglers. I don't really love the color. They're kind of like a brown. I mean, you could call up copper. That'd be kind of cool. Or like gold, camo maybe. Let's see how much they are. I'm done. Do I even look? I'm so scared. These are going to be like $20. 
I think I just have to get it on principle, right? Like at this point, it's not $15. <laughs> okay, we got one. That's cool. This place is just really strangely organized because I thought all the games were over there and I looked at all of them and then we walked over here much further away from that shelf of games and there's just, there's more. Uh, there's definitely some PlayStation 2 stuff here. Ford, Magics, Music Maker. Lots of... Zumba. Yeah, it's lots of nonsense. FIFA soccer. PS4, Guitar Hero. Connect Sports. Connect Sports. We Legends of Guardians. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's what I don't have. I don't know about five bucks though. That's a whole lot. There's a Angry Birds trilogy. Ooh, for the 360. Missing half its label though. It's missing everything. <laughs> why, why is everything five bucks? Here is a that's sealed copy of Disney Fantasia for eight bucks. Like, We're gonna leave the light gun because it's pretty much listed at eBay price now. But we have other things. Are you ready to check out? I hope they're right because I'm in the women's jeans now. Hopefully I find something that is low prices. Okay, a quick jaunt through the toys. I'll tell you, I wish it were half off day here because I'm seeing a lot of little stuff that I'd like to get, but I'm not quite ready to pay the price for. So like $3 for a Viewmaster, I'd like to have it. Not quite for $3. And this bag of Batman and a Superman in there, all for four bucks, but not quite ready to pay that either. But this place has some good stuff. So I am finding some interesting things in the women's jeans and some lower tickets they do exist so i haven't found anything that i'm just like amazed by there's some rockies they're the basic kind or actually won't really focus on it but it's a 22w which is actually a really rare size for rockies they don't really come in that size and they're only five dollars but actually the thing that my page is lacking is small sizes, not bigger sizes, because I am a curvy girl myself and I tend to just grab the bigger things because I'm like, ooh, it might fit me, that kind of thing. There's another pair here. I wish this one had that price tag on it because these are way cooler. They've got the studs right through here, a little bit more scalloped stitching going on, but hard pass, I can't do it. Dang it. I'm getting defeated. I'm gonna go to the dishes. I'm having a really terrible time right now because these are both things I want. He's missing his hair and his swords and I could probably wait and get a, a better one of these. And then I did not know this White Ranger Zord existed. I have the whole set because they do have the other White Ranger Zord. So it turns out there's two of them. But it's six bucks. I think I'm gonna do the hard thing and leave them both. It's hard to do, because I want them both, but uh, it is good to know that one exists. Hey Dallas, do you think we need this for the trip? What is that, a gallon coffee cup? Hail to the queen! I wish it said something <laughs> cooler on it, like. Hmm. I've never seen the, the sauce maker before but there's a bunch of the uh, blue corn flour corning work here none of them have their lids and all of them are like six bucks so you know my rule don't buy it without the lids all right did you get anything i got a pair of jeans i got some stuff that's pretty awesome but there's also some stuff that i just left behind because the price wasn't right that i might end up regretting but uh it is what it is. So there is a Goodwill down the road. Should we chance risking this daylight, what little daylight we have left, and go to it, or should we just get on the road? Uh, I say YOLO and let's go. All right, one more stop today, and then that's gonna be it.
so we've rolled a little bit more up the road. We are now in Texas. El Paso. We're in El Paso. And Hannah was able to get most of the decorative stuff off of the DS. Yeah, it still needs a little alcohol or something rubbed on it to get the residue off, but it looks good. I'm happy about it. Now, let's run into the Sabres and check it out real quick. Then we gotta get back on the road because we're not making the greatest time. We're getting distracted by these thrift stores. Look what I have in my purse. What do you have in your purse? A box of gummies? Why? It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of video games here. I do see this Phineas and Ferb game. I don't know if I have it or not. I'll look it up and then, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna need that. I can't remember exactly what I got last time we were at this Sabres. I'm pretty sure this is the Sabres that I got a really cool GameCube game. I'm not gonna know for sure. You guys are probably about to know because I think I'm gonna, before we leave here, I'm gonna roll on some clips from this very Sabres just so we can see how it compares. This is not something I'm gonna do a lot on this trip. I didn't plan on going to any thrift stores on this trip that we had been to on the last one, but uh, this Sabres was just two on the way to where we were going to not stop and we had fond memories of it so we stopped by but uh, uh as soon as we get done shopping here i'll roll some of those clips so you can check it out you know sometimes you've only been to a place once but it's just so familiar to you this is one of those places i walked in here and i was just like yep i know every inch of this place and i just remember it really well from last time and it's really funny because there was one of these here last time and i didn't buy it because i was like ah it's not really worth it this one actually is kind of worth it Six bucks is a little more than I'd like to spend, but it's got the matching lid, which means um, that's a little bit more of a rarity for those because they just, those lids are so specific and they always get lost. It's supposed to have a handle too, but that's okay. It sells pretty well by itself. Um, it goes for about, you know, 25, 30 bucks. So six bucks is kind of a little bit high, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Holy crap. I have a mighty need. I have a mighty need. Oh my goodness, what are you gonna do with it? I don't know, but I'm buying it. Got some interesting collector cups here. Got some uh, faded Doctor Who. St. Arnold Pub. This is like pigs playing poker with uh, some Jesus looking character next to him. This is um, a spaceman. Now that is a trip. It's like a little, uh, old car looking Buick glass too, that's pretty cool. Flamingo. Oh, these are cute. Those are older. Um, a little too breakable for me to grab right now. I'm not gonna cart those all over the US. Once again, a decent enough Nerf gun selection. I see some I want, but they're just a little bit more than I like to pay for them. Seven bucks isn't bad, but I'm not doing that today. The collector's cups continue. Ninja Turtles, Tasmanian Devil, and Harry Potter. Very nice. Anything else interesting? All right, I'm not finding much else, but We've definitely got to make sure to check the lockbox here if there is one, because I almost didn't check it at that last one when we bought the 3DS. I'd... Lockbox has slipped my mind. I don't see one. That doesn't mean there isn't one. It's probably just, yeah, I think it's over there in the corner. I see it now. I think I see a Wii U pad over there, though I don't see the rest of it. Yeah, uh, that white gaming pad with the, just like a black thing wrapped around it. If there's any other gaming stuff over there, I can't really tell. Controllers or anything. Alright, thank you very much. You're welcome. That was unfortunately in very rough shape. It's a cute copper canister set here. But it's pretty tarnished. I don't know if that would shine off or not. Probably not. It looks like it's pulled the copper off rather than being like a rust coating on top. It's a shame. So there's like a little tea. This is 10 bucks for the whole set. And coffee. That's really not bad for that. But uh, with the tarnishing going on, I'm probably not going to get it. I think someone 
Who would want that would want that to be really like shiny and pretty. There's a pig canister. Oh my gosh, it's the pickle keeper. Does it have its pickle thingy on the inside? No. Boo. Okay, we have Dallas here looking for video games. Normal. You have fun with that. I'll well, be looking on, at look, these. Look. I thought I found something good, but. Aww. Rip. But look at these. What are they? Oh, Nickelodeon like... stuff. <laughs> Nothing good. It's all just like Nick cartoons for children. All right, well, it wasn't as good a stop as the first one because there's no 3DS. I guess something's on fire. Uh, or someone's hurt. I don't know what's going on, but I got Disney G-Force for the Wii. I had it for PS2, but not Wii. You got a bowl? I got um, the sauce maker. Oh, that's a good one. All right, we've got to make some serious time on the road now. We can't keep stopping, though. So, you know, you roll through a town, you look, oh, look, there's a Sabres off the highway. This is how these things happen. But uh, we got to get to Arkansas. Arkansas! <laughs> We found out where that fire truck and ambulance were going is to the semi and they're actually hosing. They were when we pulled up, when we were pulling onto this off ramp, they were actually hosing that semi truck off. I guess it caught on fire or something, I don't know. Never seen that one. All right guys, we're still rolling. Just rolling down the road and we're making pretty good time. We're uh, having a lot of fun, so we appreciate you guys hanging out with us. I am super stoked about this 3DS been playing Mario Kart quite a bit. It has that copy of Animal Crossing in it. And I don't know anything about that version of Animal Crossing. I don't know if it's worth playing. Maybe you guys can let us know in the comments below. But otherwise, Hannah got some corning wear at the thrift. Is that all you got? Yeah. So that's the wrap up. That's what we got. <laughs> Was not a lot, but I'm so happy about the 3DS. Not really sure yet if I'm gonna keep it so Hannah and I can kind of have his and hers. We probably won't because it's the exact same edition color and everything as the model we already have. So we'll probably just wait for the next color to come along and keep it and sell that so we have something to speak of for this trip that we're on. We might as well get a couple sales while we're doing this, you know what I'm saying? Plus I've got the charger with it, it works great. Uh, but yeah, so before we get out of here, let's talk about a couple things. You guys definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let us know in the comments below if you're enjoying these travel vlogs. I know we're having fun. Now, I know we're about to have a lot of fun on these next few videos. Uh, also, check out our public discourse. Uh, there's a, a lot of reasons to be over on our Discord, okay? We do a lot of interaction with the people who watch our channel over there. And if you want to get a hold of us, talk to us, hang out with us, that kind of thing, Discord's going to be the place to do it. We get messages on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that, but it's often just way too much to field. So we keep it pretty simple by always trying to pass along the message that the Discord's definitely where you want to be if you want to in any way be in contact with us. Um, and that's even more important now than ever because the way that we communicate with people about where we're going to be or why we're going to be where we're going to be is usually over on the Discord. So go check that out if you haven't already. There's a link below this video for that. Also, before we get out of here, Hannah, show them the shirt. Can you without wrecking us? Yeah. You can't show the back. But Hannah's got the Hannah Bob shirt on. Hashtag Trash Life. We appreciate you guys who have been buying those Trash Life shirts while we're on the road. It definitely helps us pay for this trip. Uh, if you haven't checked out those shirts, Go check them out now over on Tindostrash.com and uh, we'll get them shipped out to you ASAP. I just want to say again, thanks to you guys who have ordered them. Uh, we've sent quite a few of them out and uh, I bet things just got quiet. I'm filming while we're rolling in the van so it's super loud in here. I have to talk over my rear axle because it hums so loud. But we're going slow now because we're in a town. Where are we? I don't know. We, we have no idea where we are. We've been in so many states today. There was this moment where we were like curving in between several states at once. It was weird. Um, appreciate you guys. I don't know what else we need to talk about before we get out of here. Can you think of anything? Thanks. Thanks. Super big thanks. We're having so much fun doing these thrift trips and we want to do more. So the more you guys watch, the more you guys interact, the more of this we can do in the future. One of these days we might just go full time on the road. Just do this as much as we can because that's how much we love it. You guys rock, come back tomorrow. Tomorrow's videos are really where this travel vlog is gonna start getting good. And uh, that's gonna be it. Tomorrow's, you wanna be here for tomorrow. I'm telling you, I promise you, you're gonna love it. It's gonna be great. And it's only gonna get better from there. So until tomorrow, guys, peace out. All right, well, I don't know how well you can see me right now. It's pretty dark, but we drove, I don't 
don't know, 15, 16 hours today, pretty far. We're just outside of Arkansas, which is where we're going to do a lot of thrifting tomorrow. But for right now, we gotta, we gotta get some sleep. So we're kinda hidden out in the parking lot. Just gonna turn the van off. Got this blackout curtain. Look, now you can't see nothing. It's probably just complete blackness, but all right, let's uh, start the car off. Car off, lights off, headlights off. All right, night, 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 night. <laughs> 